You'll find many articles currently about how you can use ChatGPT for business online, and many social media posts as well. But one thing that these all lack is that they're just a general overview. So if I scroll down here, it just talks about how you can automate stuff, job transformations, and just different ways like web developers for content marketing, but none of these actually show how to do it. So I'm gonna go through here and about show you six to seven different ways, and I'm gonna make a custom example company here and just show how I can automate stuff, give you different insights, and just cut down the workload and be very efficient, not just using it because it's AI and it's buzzword, but actually using the powers of AI. So just with my channel here, I like showing stuff like this, where we actually dive into the content and use ChatGPT directly. So feel free to like and subscribe if that's with you, and let's dive right into ChatGPT here and get started. Okay, so majority of what we can do here could be done in the general GPT 3.5 or GPT 4 here, which is a generic version, but I have GPT 4, which is premium, and even if you don't, these next things can be done with 3.5 majority. We're just going to use GPT-4 because you can do this thing called custom GPTs and don't be overwhelmed. These are no code. They're easy to make. I'm going to really quickly show you how to make one in this video because it's not even that hard at all. So all you're going to do is you're going to expand your bar. You're going to click explore GPTs if you have GPT-4. And then all we're going to do is we're just going to click create. There's no coding associated. All you do here is in this box here, you message what you want your GPT. So it's like a custom GPT. You can provide it with different data. So in knowledge here, knowledge is where data, so I can upload inventory files, statistics, data, and let ChatGPT really have a better understanding. So the more data you provide, obviously the better it's gonna do. But that's your decision how much you wanna share. So going forward here, the first applicable thing is to generate schedules. Scheduling can be very difficult. So all, I, all you need is just your employee availability. It can be a text thing. So, but first I'm just gonna set up our uh, sample company. So our sample company for this scenario is going to be a cookie company. I have Delightful Dough Bakeries, a vibrant and modern cookie shop located in the heart of downtown Springfield. And we're just going to have a couple specialties such as classic chocolate chip and spicy chili. So I'm just going to let this update quickly. And so once it's updating GPT, it's just going to tailor it. And then on the right here, it's going to be normal. So only difference between a custom GPT and the normal version of just GPT 3.5 is just this just has basically more knowledge and more understanding. So it's just quick responses, more tailored to you and just better. But overall, a lot of these can be done without GPT-4 at all. Now that we have everything updated, what we can do is I'm going to provide a schedule. So I'm going to give my employees, my employee times, just when they said they are available. And this is not going to be in an Excel sheet. This is going to be text. So I'm going to say, here is my employee availability. Make a schedule. Do the times all work. We operate 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. And then all this is, is just a, this is just a text here, and I'm going to let ChatGPT develop a schedule. So as you can see here, I'm not I'm not going to cut this out, but it can make mistakes here. It just didn't interpret what I wanted to do. This is the availability. So all I'm, I'm going to say again is, no, that is their availability. I need a schedule, and if I need to call anyone. Call anyone in. Make a schedule where one person works at a time. So right off the bat, of course, we're going to need to tell ChatGPT more because it's not going to understand exactly what we're wanting. So now it should develop this nice. So now we have what we need to do. Alice is going to work here. And as you can see, we just go through here. So we can also give inventory files about when we need to order, but this is kind of boring. But what about if we wanted to analyze data? Because now ChatGPT has a built-in code configurer. So in the bottom here, you have code interpreter, and I'm going to click on this. So now it's going to probably have to update by clicking this. And as you can see here, it, it kind of overlapped. This means that it's updated, and now it's changing a little bit. So now in the create, it's just loading, and now we can send something in. So I'm going to put in sales data and watch it do data analysis. So this can be in different forms, their general trends. And sometimes when you want them to analyze your data, it can be expensive. So just looking for overall trends. And if you don't have time and it can create nice graphs too, as well to present to people. So I'm going to say is create and analyze. No, not create. I'm going to say create graphs and visualizations and find trends in our, in our sales data. Find Trends in our sales data. So now I'm just going to give the sales data. This could be in a C you can provide CSV files as well, which is a common separated value, which is just Excel. So this is just generic. It's going to be the month, unit sold, revenue. And when it does analyzing here, I have this expanded. You don't need to see your code if you're not interested. You can just close this. I'll show details. I won't show it, but I'm just going to keep it on for now. You can you can disable this if you don't want to see all the code. So we're just going to create this all. And then it should provide us here because now GPT has the ability to run its own code, which is very, very powerful. 
now we have our simple little our graph here we just have our revenues on the right and our units sold on the left and as you can see here we do have some minor formatting issues we can just fix that we just need to tell it I'm going to say key observations, both units sold in the upper trend throughout the year. Peak sales, a significant increase in both metrics starting in October with the highest in December. So overall, this is a very, let me emphasize, emphasize this. This is a very, very simple example. ChatGPT4 is very powerful. GPT 3.5 can handle this as well, except for the data input here. It could just analyze the trends. It won't be able to actually write code like this part. But these are all generic. So let's go into something even cooler. What about if we wanted to reply to customers? Say, because you know you have reviews, a lot of Google reviews. What if we mass copied the, the reviews left and then we provided it to ChatGPT where it can create the responses because generating responses can sometimes be a time consuming and just hard to do. For all that work that's just time consuming, you don't want to do it or say you want to do data analysis, but you don't want to spend the money because you're a smaller company on actually analyzing your data and you want to see trends. You can use GPT-4 and anything. If you ever see the mistakes like here, just tell GPT-4, tell it it messed up. It is very good at improving when it realizes it messed up. And you can also be very stern. That's just one thing, be very stern. I've said in previous videos with GPT-4, you don't need to use please or any other words. So if you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Just please, again, let me know what you want to see next. And I hope you have a great day.